Surrey stumble in London derby. It's been a difficult start for both London-based sides, but with the city bragging rights at stake at Lords, Middlesex and Surrey had a great opportunity to get their first wins on the board against their old enemy. First blood, though, would go to the hosts. A productive start from Burns and Stoneman saw them find the fences early, but Murta put a stop to the partnership. Robson did well to take the low opportunity. Burns had to go for just eight. It got worse for the visitors. Two balls later, Amler out for a duck. The pads found, and two of Surrey's big-name batters were back in the hutch. They'd find their way to 50 runs, but Middlesex were back in the wickets soon after, and it was a big one. Pope, off the back of a 245-run knock, could only add 22 before Roland Jones found his edge. Robson agile in the cordon once again. Folks followed. Roland Jones again the man to make the difference. Surrey slumping to four down with lunch rapidly approaching. They'd stumble their way into the interval. A difficult morning for the visitors. The score, 88 for four. There was no let-up after the break in play. Surrey on the ropes and Middlesex pressing home their advantage. Murtar nipped one through the gate to bowl Smith early in the session. Stoneman then followed. His knock of 44, head and shoulders above any of his colleagues' returns so far. Jordan Clark was then only able to spear Murtar to Gubbins in the covers, and Surrey were in hot water at seven down. But it got worse. Topley bowled by Bamba, and the innings crumbling. Roach and Clark had clung on long enough to drag their side through to 150, but the Windies International could go no further, bowled by debutant Luke Holman as he aimed a swipe down the ground. Ricky Clark was the last man to go, Gubbins accurate with his throw from the deep, the Surrey stalwart run out, and the visitors all out for 154, and an early tee taken. Stoneman had been the only Surrey bat to really show any resistance against their rivals. Ricky Clark's late order hitting took him to 28. Tim Murtar, though, was the star of the show, four wickets taken for just 28 runs. But if Middlesex thought their good start with the ball would carry over into their batting innings, they'd be sorely mistaken. Just four overs in, Holden was gone. Topley found the edge through to Burns, Surrey fighting back immediately. A real beauty of a ball in his next over was straight through Gubbins, Yorked for four. And a few balls later, he had a third, this one nipping back at Hanscom to see him depart for a duck, a well-deserved double wicket maiden for Topley. The hosts found stability in Robson and White, the partnership building and taking Middlesex past 50. It was an impressive recovery from the hosts. Any hope offered to their rivals from across the Thames was quickly extinguished, and they closed on three figures late in the day. White took advantage. After his side reached 100, he found his way to 50. Middlesex in charge after their early innings blip. By the time they reached the close of play, Robson too was closing in on a half century, and the deficit to the visitors was just 40. The score, 114 for three.